Hi YouTubers, just thought I'd do a quick video on my control panel from my solar panel. Um, we came back from France and we had a bit of a dicky fit with this one. Um, it seems like it's overheating or overheated. And what happened was this power unit, which controls, which comes down here and runs this separately as a USB charger. I can put um, this little device in it. Where are we? Where's my hand? There we go. Put this little device in it and it seems to overpower. I've been looking at the new ones. The new ones now have a heat sensor on the top. So we came back and this was off. We couldn't get any... Uh, so that was off and we had an, a fault warning light which according to the manual could be overheating. So I'm going to change this control unit for a new one, which are not expensive. Here we go. Sorry about the light. Um, this one was uh, 20 quid. And it's got a heat sensor on the top there and it's all it's got digital display outlay and everything. Where this hasn't got anything, it's a pretty basic, probably like a 10 or 8 quid from China one. Uh, and I put, I fitted the uh, the voltage regulator, well not the regulator, the voltage um, meter that tells me how much voltage is coming from the solar panels. <coughs> so I'm going to fit this today. These two here, these are from my solar panel. So you've got positive and negative. The solar panel um, that I fitted is on the roof. Um, if anybody wants to know how I fitted it, I can do a video for that if you want me to, just leave that in a, in a message down below. Um, it's very easy to fit, it's just stuck on the roof with um, Soltafix glue and it's not going anywhere. And I can do a video, I might do a video anyway and just put it on if you're interested. Um, I'm not going to bother with this voltage meter now because there'll be another one coming ready. These two are then going down to the battery, so positive and negative down to the battery, and these two here are the power going to my um, cigarette socket. So I'm going to disconnect this, take this off, separate these cables, make sure the key separate because it's not sunny out. So I should be able to go, I should get on over and disconnect it, but I can't because it's fixed to the roof and I can't, so I'm just going to isolate these two by putting a bit of tape on the end. Someone's going to say in a comment, you should be doing it, I got no choice. Okay, and it's mine and I can do what I want with it. Thank you very much. I'll get back to you once I've disconnected the cables. Cheers. Okay, <clears throat> it looks like this one has a lot, it's a lot bigger unit as you can see and also underneath the, uh, if you can see that properly, I can't see the camera but the fitting's a lot better as well because I had trouble fitting these little monkeys. They were a bit tricky. I'm not going to throw the device away, I mean I could use it, am I getting that or not? Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going to undo the one and I'm going to drop. These have been stapled in. I've got a network staple gun which puts um, network cables in, so I've got to be careful I don't damage that. Okay, I'll take him out. Okay, that's that one dropped. So that's my positive, that's my negative. Make sure they're clean. And what I might do is just get the device, the new one, and just fit them. Mm, let's just make sure it fits properly. Let's have a look. That's an excellent fit actually. That's a much better. So it's 20 quid. I mean it's not expensive at all. I'm only doing this connector so I don't so I keep them separate and they're isolated away from any I don't want any shorts or anything. It's only 12 volt from the solar panel. Okay. So positive, make sure you check as well in the same. Positive, negative, you don't want to run the wrong way. So clean any frayed bits, just clean. Because I mean the other one is so tight. It's such a tight, it's such a cheap device, but it worked, I mean it worked really well. So that's all I'm doing. All I'm doing is just cleaning it and just really make sure there's no Spears hanging out. Okay, into the next one. Make sure it goes in. Okay. <coughs> oh, 
Okay. And then what I'm going to do is disconnect from the battery, make sure they're disconnected. And they're underneath the seat. So. Okay. And then we'll. The difference between I'm using this screwdriver to tighten and undo this, the new one, and this one for these. That's how tiny it is. Such a small device. Okay. So that should come out of there. These are not connected to the battery or anything, so they're not going to short. So, I'll just see, just clean them up. Like so. Make sure you do disconnect these from the battery because if they touch, they will cause havoc. You will have a fire. There's no two ways about it, okay? Especially if they're connected to the batteries, which are 12 volts, and I've got two which are in parallel, and you will be in trouble. So please disconnect your batteries. And one of them is just, is just breaking the glue. And this should come off anyway. There we go. And the last two, and I've left the sheaths on, if you can see that, positive and negative. And that's for the cigarette lighter. That's not gonna fit, I'm forgetting it's too big. don't have to they don't have to if they don't touch anyway because they're not going to draw the power until you switch the unit back on anyway okay little bug must be a different screw from that one tiny So, new one. Ah, that's not a very good fit, is it? So, bear with me a second. Okay, I've got to give you a recap now. These screws are already tightened up, so if you can look underneath, you can see that. Um, what you have to do, you have to undo them, and they lower. So when I put the first one in, there's no way it caught because there's nothing to catch on. So what I'll do now, I'll gonna connect them all up and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I do apologize for all the shakiness, but it's a bit more awkward than what I thought. I've re-stripped the two main ones because they were a bit short. All the rest fitted fine. The screws are substantial. They do go in very well. You've got to wind them down so that they are open uh, first because they're all wound in. And then you put them in, put the wires in, and away you go. Make sure you get them around the right way. So wherever you take them out, make sure they go back in the same way, okay? Or you'll have problems. So I'm gonna pop that on there in a minute, and then uh, we'll put the batteries back on and we'll see what we get, okay? Shouldn't get anything much from the solar panel because it's a bit, it's getting a bit dusk now. Okay, see you in a minute. 
Okay, fitted and working a dream as you can see. What's happened at the moment, I've got the solar panel charge on the left, sending a charge to the battery. I've also plugged my phone in, but it's also telling me now that the charge is now going out to the power source. So if I can just hold that steady and disconnect my phone. That should stop now. Yep, so it's just charging the battery. You can see the one on the right has stopped moving, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. So if I plug my phone back in. Sorry, one handed here. There we go. And you can see now the one on the right is now sending a charge to the power unit. 13.8 volts. I don't need that great big green light flashing, which is a bit annoying when you're in bed at night because you can see it. Okay. So. Nice and tidy. I'll tidy the wire back up now. I've had to disconnect them all and move them slightly. That's why I had to switch the camera off. So I do apologise for any poor camera work. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, fitting a solar panel, by the way, is a doddle. Um, I can, I was, I'll probably do a video on that as well. Thank you.